What's going on guys? It's Kyle with DTOM Knives and Gear and today I want to talk about some of the best leather products that I have come across. Now granted I haven't bought a ton uh, but as you guys know I'm a huge fan of Lancelot Leather. It is uh, He is the man who made the mat that you see in every video as far as the backdrop, the disassembly mat that I have. Um, and ever since I purchased that from him, I've just been a huge fan. The quality, and not just the quality, but just the man himself, Joe, who's behind it. Uh, it's just a super cool guy, and he cares so much about the product that he's making for the individual. Um, he's very good at communicating, and so that's a huge deal, right? As a consumer of any product, uh, knowing that the person that's making it for you is not only very good at what he does, but also really cares that it is exactly what you want. It's huge, right? So <clears throat> I purchased this mat. I forgot how long I've had it. I've had it for quite a while and, uh, and have become friends with Joe and he sent me some stuff. I've got some leather, uh, keychain tags and stuff like that, but he recently came up with an idea that is mainly what this video is going to be about, but he sent me three products. Now, he sent me these products for free. I didn't pay for these, okay? Uh, so keep that in mind. However, you guys already know, after I purchased the mat, on how much I really enjoy his work. So what were the products that he sent? I don't know if you saw the unboxing or not, but there's two straps, 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 <laughs> and an EDC tray. So the first strop is this very big strop that I keep at the house and have a spot to where it has this really nice kind of antique bronze hardware that I really like. I just like the way it looks. And it is a clasp that I clasp it to the wall, use the ring to hold and to strop the knives whenever I am at home. The other product is an EDC dump tray. And I've actually got some stuff in here. We're going to turn the camera around and, and show some of this stuff. But uh, this dump tray is the perfect size for me. I have a particular spot. I actually got an EDC dump tray on the Going Gear EDC subscription box, which is about not about that big. So it's kind of small. It has worked for me, but I had stuff just kind of laying out everywhere. This one is not only better quality leather and made, but it's also the correct size. It comes with this really nice bronzed hardware that you use to uh, attach these corners and have the, make the shape. Uh, I have really, really been enjoying this. Um, the other one that I would use, and like I said, it was so small, I used it, but it wasn't really enjoyable because I carry a lot of stuff. And so this one being a little bit bigger doesn't take up a whole lot of real estate in the area that I sit it in, but it's big enough to carry or to hold those things uh, whenever I dump my pockets at night and then in the morning to get them back out and put back in the pockets. It's perfect. Very nice, like this tan colored leather, very nice, very soft. It's not going to damage the things that you put in there because, you know, we all like our stuff, right? Uh, it is just excellent. It's, it's pliable yet rigid, and I have absolutely loved it. The main feature of this video is this guy. So this guy is a pocket strop that has a clasp on this end and then a ring on this end that you can use this in multiple different ways. You can actually use this as a key fob to attach to your keys, hook this to your belt, and then the keys and this go into your um, pocket, which is how I carried it. I did it a couple of different ways because I didn't realize how um, how I was going to do it. It was a couple of different options, that being one, one just keeping it in my bag and then using it when I needed it to. <clears throat> it actually worked well as a key fob slash pocket strop, but I understand that some people may not do that. There's a lot of people out there that already carry things like this to hold their keys. <clears throat> and if you're that guy and you're a knife guy, this is an absolute must. So obviously, same kind of... Uh, hardware this nice little ring here to clip to your belt and then this either to clip to your keys or just to dangle and how it works and how i used it was this clipped to a belt loop and then i held it like this and then throughout the day if i needed to touch up my knife i just grabbed it it's right there on my hip 
and then I stropped my knife up. So you guys know that I am not a heavy user of my knives. I, um, you know, I use them, I cut with them for review, and the, but my daily task is rather light with my knives. It's mainly just a little bit of cardboard, opening up packages, occasionally a zip tie, that kind of stuff. So I don't re and I have a lot of knives and I review a lot of knives. So it's always rotating. I don't, you know, really have the opportunity to have to really sharpen my stuff all the time with my KME system, which I do have and I haven't used in a while because I don't use my knives enough to really get them dull. This, however, and I what I do is I strop my knives uh, just to get that sticky edge back because they're usually not damaged. It's just rolling over that very fine uh, you know burr that uh, might have been popped up from regular use. This was absolutely amazing to have something with me at all times to where I could just foo, 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 strop it back up to life. Now, obviously with leather strops, a lot of people use compound and you could use compound on this, but I would, I mean, and there might be a lot of other compounds out there, but the compound that I have used, this would come off. Like if I was to rub this in, even if it was to soak in, if I had it in my pocket or dangling around, it would come off. And so I would have that green compound on me. So I chose not to do that, but I don't really need that compound uh, unless I am really doing a, a, you know, a unique you know, detailed sharpening job, just something to strop it up and get it sticky again. I don't need the compound and that's where this, and then of course you can see, I'm, you know, <laughs> scratch it up and stuff because, you know, while I'm stropping, sometimes I just don't do it right. I don't, it's just my thing. You should see my bamboo leather uh, strop that I have for the KME. It's just crazy. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it, it comes with practice. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Come on. Uh, but you have a rough side and a fine side. I actually did use the rough side some as well and then, you know, flipped it over and used the uh, the finer side. It works amazing. Uh, I, I understand that some people might not want to carry something like this. It really worked well. Depending on how you do your EDC and you carry your keys, you know, clipping it to my belt loop and then having it in my pocket, uh, keys in my pocket and then just kind of coming out, I had... Uh, if I can kind of show it, these little things, these little ma magnetic uh, clasps. I had one on this and then one uh, on the keys. That way it would hold the keys, come out of the pocket. I don't have to take this off the belt loop. I just grab my keys, get it done, and then put it back. Uh, that really worked well. Uh, and the reason that I don't have that on my thing right now is because it originally goes on my keyboard, which I'm, I'm changing up my house keys and stuff are on that car keys on this so i am going to be changing that up but that's how i did it when i was carrying this and i'm telling you if if that's the kind of thing that you don't mind doing or you like to have something there instead of digging your hands in your in your pocket for your keys it works well for that and then of, then you have a pocket strop um i think it's a genius idea he came to me and was asking about you know what would people you know like that would they uh would they use it you know i was like man it sounds like a great idea but I guess, you know, I, I don't really know. Uh, so he did send me, of course, he sent me all of this. And I think it's the perfect size. Let's go ahead and get some measurements on it. So the leather piece itself is about seven and an eighth on the leather. And if you're going from the top of the, uh, the key ring to the bottom of the clasp, you're talking about nine and three quarters inches. Uh, and I think that is the perfect size really now it might vary for a lot of people because i've got a big belly we all know this uh so whenever i clamp it to my le uh to my belt loop i have plenty of room with the length of this to be able to strop it just right here on my hip uh if you're skinnier than me then you're going to feel like you have a lot more room so and then of course it's Joe with Lancelot Leather. If this idea appeals to you, of course, I will have his Instagram and Etsy store linked down below. Hit him up because he can make whatever you want. Uh, he's got this length because he was trying it out and wanted to get my opinion. I think this length is about perfect um, because whenever I clipped to my belt loop, put my keys in there, I, I didn't feel like it was you know too short where it was kind of doing this number. It wasn't too long the way if I did have my keys out where it was just uh, you know like a swinging dick, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> yeah, swinging around. It didn't do that. Uh, it was absolutely perfect. 
there is his logo. His logo is on all of these products, which I think is awesome. Um, and so, yeah, Joe, it's a win in my book. I honestly think that people will really like this, especially um, the people that use key fobs already. This is going to be a big winner. If you don't, I kind of encourage you to try it because it actually worked well for me. I used to carry just a very, you know, just a carabiner and clip it on my belt loop. I didn't use, didn't use like a, a, any kind of length. It was just on the carabiner. This actually worked pretty well. And, uh, you know, I even did it in, uh, just as a key fob on my back you know, to put the keys in the back pocket and not keep them in my left, out of my left pocket. It worked well both ways. Uh, of course, whenever I sit down on my keys, I have no ass fat. I have it all right here, so it hurts my butt. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, so I usually kept it in the left. You know, I have to carry my primary in my right pocket and then a bunch of other stuff really in my left. Keys is one of them. So having that loop there. Now I will say this, I'm right-handed. That's how I carried my keys. And so I could do it, you know, with it over here, it's in my keys. Sorry, you get to see all of this. Uh, so when it's over here, I can do it and I can strop it like this. But because I have a big belly, I've got to go across that big thing. So what I ended up doing is clamping it on the right side. It's a little bit closer to me. So that's where I was able to get the better stropping action because of the belly. And so <laughs> if you are not my size, then you could keep it on either side and do it on either side because the, it, depending on where your loops are, right? And so because it worked, it worked well both ways. It just, I... Small arms, big belly, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I seriously, go hit him up. I have no idea what the pricing are, guys. This was sent to me by Joe. Uh, so go check him out. Ask him some questions. I'm sure you can do basically whatever you want. He does really cool stuff with logos. Uh, as you can, let me see if I can, you know. Put my logo right on this damn thing. I love this mat. This was my first product by him, and I'm just still in amazement every time I sit down here on my desk that I have something like this. It really tickles my fancy. It makes me feel good when I sit down in this area, even though everything else is cluttered in the shit. If you can see it, you'd agree. This just makes me happy. So these products and a lot more, Joe from Lancelot Leather could could do for you just hit him up ask him questions and uh because he's got all kinds of different colors stitching all that it's just amazing uh and uh anyways if you haven't seen we actually let's see joe was on i can't remember if it was on on the edge of lefty life but anyway me and me and kevin got a chance to sit down with him face to face on Streamyard, have a live the dude is super freaking cool uh, he's a southern boy just like me, so and he's got a badass beard. So what's not to like, right? So anyways, guys, I really appreciate you stopping by and checking it out. Go over to Lancelot Leather on Instagram and his Etsy store. Check it out. Tell him Kyle said hello, uh, and uh, stay safe in this crazy world that we are living in. And we will see you in the next one. That's kind of a crappy shot. <laughs> Yeah.